All right, Growth Day community. As y'all know, I love being here. I love serving you. I love pouring into you. And y'all know it's going to be an incredible session because we are talking about how to start a movement specifically to ignite change. Like for me and when I started my movement, it's all about, you know, making impact, igniting change in the world where we see those things that we don't like, we get frustrated with it. But for me, you'll stay frustrated unless you're doing something to make a difference. And for me, making a difference starts with starting a movement. So we're going to really dive into the nitty gritty of what it takes to really start a sustainable movement. And even if you have your list of what you've done before, let's do checks and balances and let's see like where we are. Is anything changing or shifting? Because for me, I've been doing the Get Loved Up movement for the last 12 years, actually 15 years. And now I'm doing another movement called Lifestyle Design because of my growth and evolution and what I'm learning. I now want to continue to teach that to my people. So I'm going to talk to you about my movement, Get Loved Up, but I'm also going to talk about the new movement that I'm going into when it comes to lifestyle and well-being. And it's all connected. It's just growth and evolution of my company. So if some of you all are starting for the first time, you're going to get something out of it. And some of you have been doing it for a while, but maybe it's time to pivot, change, or add on. You're also going to see ways that you can do that and make it still in alignment with your purpose. So let's start with the breath because y'all know it's all about grounding. It's all about well-being and mental health for me. So place one hand over your heart and the other hand over that hand and just take a deep inhale through your nose. And exhale, sigh it out. Deep inhale through the nose. And audible sigh out. <sighs> Last inhale through the nose. Hold the breath. And then slowly sigh it out when you're ready. Slowly blink your eyes open. I don't know about you, but I can get pretty amped up and that's good. But a lot of times we're running on stress and anxiety, y'all. And it's really important to just take some time to take a deep breath. So in the beginning of all of my meetings, um, and my sessions, I take three deep breaths together. And you will be surprised how that really stimulates your parasympathetic nervous system, which helps you rest and relax. So even though we're excited, we're not too tense and we don't have our adrenals working overtime. So I definitely highly suggest bring in breath work. Not only does it affect you physically, but mentally, it helps you calm down. It helps you be more in alignment with your purpose because breath is spirit, and that's what we're in alignment with. So there's so many reasons the breath is good. So don't forget the breath when you're going, when you're excited, when you're rah, rah, rah. Even if you're on a stage, don't be afraid to bring in the breath and just slow down a little bit to go forward even more because we do need more peace. We are in a mental health pandemic. So it's really important to encourage the breath in your classes, in your meetings, on stage, everywhere. Bring in the breath. Blame it on me if you want to, but I highly suggest the breath. All right. So let's get into what it takes to start a movement, what it takes to create something that's going to be impactful. And first, I want to start with really getting clear on what you want to see change. Like I want you to write down, take a moment. You can close your eyes if you want to, but I want you to write down. You can also share it in the chat. What do you want to see change? What would you, oh gosh, I wish this was different. What is keeping you up at night? What is affecting your peace? I want you to write it down in the chat, write it down in your journal. Um, but what's affecting your peace? What do you want to see change? The first step is just, you know, you know, identifying, you know, what is what is your cause, you know? So a good way to do that is what do you want to see change? For me, it was people weren't practicing enough self-love. I wasn't practicing enough self-love. And I feel like self-love and healing and community is what was missing because we see all the problems, but I saw my mom and dad always like trying to do this, trying to do this, but they were stressed and they were overwhelmed. I'm like, what about yourself? What about taking care of yourself, you know? And what about getting some help? And so for me, when I created Get Loved Up, our motto is love yourself, love others, love the world. 
in that order. So my my cause was self-love and self-care and healing and community. And I got passionate about that. And I was like, well, how do I do that? Well, I started the Get Loved Up movement and I encouraged people to practice daily self-care. And then, you know, we'll break down what that looks like and stuff like that. But write it down, write down what do you want to see change? What is your cause? What are you passionate about? You can name it. You can put so many names on it, but what keeps you up at night? And for me, it's like, we need more self-love. We need more self-care because, and it's still, even though I'm changing and switching the name of my podcast and my business is still focusing on self-love is number one, self-love, self-care is number one. And it's, it's so important. So just identify your, your cause. Some people say identify your why, no matter what you want to call it, it's what keeps you up at night. And then we want to go to building a vision for it. So what does it look like? Do you want to be a leader? Do you want to be a part of a group that already exists? You don't have to always start something new. I mean, we're definitely in the age of the entrepreneur, right? And I think a lot of us are exhausting ourselves because we got to think of our thing and we got to do it by ourselves. But the second part of my cause was like healing in community. So I knew it wasn't gonna be something that I did by myself. My personality, my human design, which I talk about a lot in my community is really about um, how can I you know, elicit others to join me in this vision? So I had to get clear on the vision. We're going to have the motto, love yourself, love others and love the world. And we're going to build these places where we practice yoga, breath work, meditation in community, and we're going to build it. I went did some classes in Atlanta. I did some classes in LA. I did classes in Washington, DC. So I would go to different cities and I would encourage people, let's all come together and let's practice together and get as many people as possible. And even when I'm gone, keep this up at least once a month. So that was my vision. And so it's important if I was just like, let's practice self-care, you know, people would do it the best that they can. But when I had the vision of bringing community together, that's really what people signed up for, you know, because if they sign up for self-care, maybe they'll do it, maybe they won't. But if you have an accountability partner and you can see that vision, that really gives it some legs. So what is your vision? Whatever you um, have to share, go ahead and take some time to write down what is your vision. For me, my vision was doing it in community. And when the pandemic hit, my vision was doing it online. And then once I saw that, wow, you know, there's not that many people that look like me that are yoga teachers. I was like, my next vision was start a yoga teacher training school, you know, and then I started that and I told people why I was starting that. And then, you know, people signed up and we started to have more teachers that were following like a specific outline, a get loved up principles, holistic health principles. So not just practicing yoga, but practicing yoga and holistic health. That was my vision for my school. And so you see how I'm still identifying my cause and then I have the vision after it. So write down what's your cause and what's your vision. This can be your day for personal growth. This can be that day you committed to and you remember and you go, that was the day I got myself a community. I got better coaches. I committed to making my life the absolute best that I could. This is that day. Make today your growth day. Click the button on this page and sign up right now.